Hi, Chloe here with Nothing Original, and we're with Tiger Tiger. Well, you know, part of part of Tiger Tiger in the Pike Room. How are you? I'm doing all right. Okay. So for anyone that hasn't heard your band before, describe the sound in three words. Loud, quiet, in between. <laughs> that's that's a lot of help. <laughs> okay. So your band, you want to redo? No. no? I'm good with that. Okay. So. <laughs> Your band has had a lot of obstacles come your way lately, um, just piling up, and I'm sure that sometimes that makes being a musician seem discouraging. So what about this career path makes you persevere on? Well, I mean, more than anything, me especially, but all of us, you know, we play music because we like playing music. You know, we're, we're not in it to get popular or do it as a career per se. We have maybe a small chance to so we're pursuing that but really like when it comes down to it we all just love playing music so like on our last tour we kind of had a lot of stuff broke down and we had a couple of days off and like that first day back on just like playing a show and connecting with people it was like all right well this is why we're doing what we're doing so and if you don't come um, continue on with music what's your plan b uh, my plan B is I would like to teach linguistics at a community college in a city two days a week and then have a have a cabin out in the mountains on the weekends where I hang out with my dog. That's thorough. You thought it through. <laughs> Actually, last tour, I spent like an hour. We were stuck in a repair shop, so we were just trying to entertain ourselves, and I spent about an hour describing in full detail my life, what it'll be either if music doesn't work or when I stop, whatever, and that's what I came up with. It does not sound too There's bad. There's more depth to it, but I'll, I'll spare that for another time. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll hear the rest, or we'll just find out if it happens, yeah. Okay, so next question is, um, you guys have done lots and lots of touring lately, and it offers you like the unique opportunity to see the world, and or I guess the country, and so what's been your favorite place so far? Uh, favorite place I've been is the Smoky Mountains. We went there on our last tour. Uh, it's like the best place in the world. Like it's the one place where I've really just been truly happy. Like just the surroundings, the atmosphere. It's just it feels right. Uh, favorite place that we've been to play um, because we obviously haven't played in the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> um, I would say at this point maybe Pittsburgh. A lot of cool people there and cool friends. I've heard a lot of bands from Michigan say that they like playing in Pennsylvania a lot. Um, up until like this year, I actually hated playing in Pennsylvania, but we've had a lot of really good opportunities lately in Pennsylvania and have made a lot of friends there, so it's, it's done well for us. Very nice, but on the flip hand, touring's kind of strenuous. I'm sure any other musician would agree that it sucks a lot out of you, like financially, physically. And so, um, do you receive like support from your friends and family for choosing that lifestyle? Yeah, I've been really lucky um, from early on. Like my parents have really accepted what I wanted to do, and I guess you know when they see not that we've had even any success at all, but just you know small things. It's like oh, maybe they're actually doing something worthwhile and not just, you know, taking one extended vacation. And, you know, I think, like, people that know us see, like, uh, you know, we are happy to go travel a bunch and it is the, the coolest thing in the world, but, you know, then they see us, like, stress out because we're gone and stuff and we're like, all right, they obviously, you know, love what they're doing to put up with a lot of this stuff that they have to. So it's really, we've had a lot of support from everyone and it's just, it helps out a ton. Good, I'm glad to hear that. So you guys have a pretty large catalog of music, a lot that was released in the last couple of years. And um, what is what single song are you most proud of? Most proud of? Uh, probably Trail Famidor off of our full length. Um, that's actually, I do most of the writing like song-wise for the band, but uh, one of our old guitarists wrote most of that song. I just added like one part at the end and all the lyrics, but uh, um, lyrically it's really important to me. I I read Slaughterhouse Five while we were recording uh, by Kurt Vonnegut, and it just kind of really affected me. And like uh, Kurt Vonnegut is like one of my favorite authors and you know most influential people, and it's just basically like a love letter to his stories. It was kind of you know not per se love letter but more of just like the inspiration was his writing style and stuff and uh, we also got 
uh, my favorite band is Gatsby's American Dream, and we lucked out, and where we recorded, Nick, the singer of Gatsby's American Dream, just showed up one day, and I was like, hey, you want to sing on this song? And he was like really cool about it and said, yeah. So, you know, just getting to do that, it was like, well, that fulfills all my wishes of being a high schooler and listening to this band. So just kind of cool and proud of that. Yeah, that was a good coincidence, huh? Okay. So you guys come from the Michigan music scene, which I think it's agreed upon that it's the kind of bigger and busier than a lot of the other music scenes in the Midwest. And do you think that that's benefited you or it's been harder to gain recognition? I think that's benefited us. Um, Tiger Dyer has been around since like 2008, but we've had many, many long periods of breaks, like two plus years at one point. And last year when we started back up around about a year, year and a few months ago, we were playing Michigan every weekend, but like there were so many places to play where we could play, you know, every weekend and not play the same place for another month and a half, two months because we were just hitting all these places. and. You know, we go to other states and it's not always, that option isn't available. So it's it's really cool. Like we love the Michigan music scene and it's it's been awesome and extremely beneficial for us how strong it is. And we've made a lot of friends all over, so. I definitely enjoy being a part of it just as a fan. So far, 2013's been pretty big for music. Um, the Grammys happened, a few bands have gotten back together. There's a lot of albums expected. So what has happened or what are you most excited for? Just in general for music this month or this year sorry yeah that's, that's what I thought in my head but for some reason month came out um, uh, 2013 Jeff Mangum touring of Nutramilk Hotel is probably the highlight for me you know something no one thought they would see again I got to see him in Columbus play and that was unbelievable like he's one of my favorite songwriters if not favorite so you know, someone who you you listen to for a while and you're like, well, this dude is never playing music again. I've come to terms with that. And then you hear, oh, he's going to tour again and play music. It's like, well, that's cool. It was definitely one of the best experiences musically of my life. So I don't know if anything will top that this year. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, this is my last question for you. And um, in five years, where do you hope to be with music? Uh Honestly, like I like I talked about earlier, the, the end goal isn't necessarily to be popular, you know. We like to, it wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't complain if that happened, but, you know, our, we make our music because we like making music and making art. It's not necessarily to gain recognition, so I would just like to have released a bunch more music, and, you know, if people like it, people like it. If not, well, I'll still be happy with myself, you know, for getting that out of me and giving my art to the world, I guess. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so make sure you check out Tiger Tiger. We'll have all the links to their sites at the end of this interview. Thanks. There comes a point that we all must reach where we understand that life can be a little too frightening. Yet we still wake up.